April 14th. Um, I wanted to share here again a couple of things. You know, no matter what we see going on around us here today, all these people that think, you know, yeah, the devil's ruler here right now. But you know what the devil doesn't have control on? He doesn't have control on anything that you don't give him. And uh, the weather, you know, everything that you're going to see, the weather opening, the earth opening, it's not the devil, it's the Lord. You know, it says right here, um, the storm that was stilled, and his disciples came to him and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye little of faith? When he arose, he rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And they all marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and sea obey him? Then shortly after that, it speaks about where he's casting out the devils, you know, demons, people with demons in them. Um, we're in the end times right now. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, even back then, Jesus, you know, when he said, certain scribes came up to him and said, Master, I will follow thee with, with wherever thou goest. And Jesus told them to them, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has not where to lay his head. And another of the disciples said, Lord, let us suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said unto them, Follow me, and let the dead bury the dead. Yeah. I mean, I was speaking about how, you know, I had my own business and stuff, and they kind of black, well, they blacklisted me. They didn't kind of do it. They blacklisted me because there's so many people that have been following the devil today that they're perfect hosts now for uh, being possessed. And uh, there's millions upon millions upon millions of them right now being hosted by demons. And uh, they're here already they're all around us they're everywhere they pretty much they do have control of everything if you look at all the stores everything that's been built they've been around us for a very long time but now they're just now coming out into the open now because well they're being brought into the open because of the end the devil knows his time's short that's why you know when they came up against me they didn't want me flashing this around but see, this was also a message to the devil. That little clock, that means his time's at hand. Jesus ain't on the white horse yet, but this is a message for people to keep clean. Those that can see, you know. It's over. You know, it is definitely over. We're getting, you know, we're getting ready to go. This is the Passover this is when you look at biblical things in the end in the Bible, things, you know, a lot of things happened right then. And this is the Passover. I shared in this last clip about how I came over a place called the Passover. What was it, about a month and a half ago, five, six weeks ago, something like that. And that's when I see that demonic girl behind me, and I'm pretty certain I'm right about this, too. Um, she was an evil spirit. Um, we're getting ready to go, you know. <laughs> the churches have been um, hosted by uh, wicked people that were into prosperity for money. And the Bible also spoke about that, in the Holy Bible. And all these mega churches, they never spoke about that. Where it's clearly in the Bible about how people seek to have their ears tickled. You never heard any of these mega churches talking about that. Never did they ever go there. Nor did they want to speak about revelations. You know, things to make people want to straighten their path a little bit here. You know, make things to make them be worry about. See, I'm living in my truck right now, sure enough. But I've also shared in my dream about my dreams where I'm going to be with the uh, Lord and uh, the kingdom and at his throne. I'm going to be there with him. I've seen it already where he takes me there. 
Um, you know, everything's going to be the opposite of what people think it is. You know, those, and I, and I believe that's another reason why the Lord let them take everything from me here. Because those that have the least here are going to have the most there. And uh, I walked away from everything here. The business, um, my whole life here, pretty much, I walked away from it. You know, and I had offerings, I walked away from it. I knew they were demonic, evil. You know, people that were of the world. And I also knew this was the end, you know. No amount of money was going to change anything. I've been going through this since uh, 2001, since the Twin Towers got knocked down. You know, so, I mean, a lot of years. You know, you look at, this is 2016 now, so over 15 years I've been uh, going through this. Didn't just start for me. Some people, they probably haven't even financially felt anything yet. You know, everything is still pretty much the same to them. But uh, I guess what I want to share with them is knowing, you know, how there's a lot of people that just can't walk away from what they've got. You know, even the businesses, you know, making money however they're making it. Because they're like, well, what if this ain't the end and, you know, got to make money if I don't do it somebody else will you know sad thing is is uh, nobody else is going to be doing it this is all coming to an end and I believe you're gonna see it this month even you know at the end of this month the beginning of next month things are gonna be getting real wicked right now um, it's all at hand we've arrived you know we've arrived the uh, GROXT1 channel, he was even speaking about uh, a lot of the stuff, the signs that he sees, you know. And he even says, uh, media, they're all programmed where these things that are being seen today, they've all been written in the Holy Bible, what's coming up, what's at hand. But they're, they're all set and programmed right now to where they don't talk about the uh, uh, anything to do with the Bible on the media at all nothing and uh, I even seen that time that one guy on Sunday that Al I can't even think of his last name but he used to be real heavy set when that woman said you know leave enough space between us for the Holy Ghost he just went whoa I mean he was silent for quite a while and people thought you know well what's he doing man what's wrong with him well it's because of that demon when she mentioned the Holy Ghost that you know this stuff's real, man. I'm telling you, it's very real. The Holy Spirit, that's why I keep saying, be with the Holy Spirit. Because when we get ready to leave, that's our oil. That's what we need to leave. And uh, and he's, you got plenty of oil, you know what I mean, when we get ready to go. Even if we're tired, wore out, we'll have plenty of oil. Um, I'm looking forward to this, being gone here now. Like I said, this has been going on for quite some time. And even with me sharing anymore today, you know, people don't realize, you know, when you're sharing stuff with them, what it really means. You know, it clearly says in the Bible when these times happen, and people have heard over the past few years things that sound like a trumpet. <coughs> Nobody's really seen a photo like this. <laughs> until now and uh, I've got other stuff to you other pictures where I believe it's Jesus Christ with the two witnesses that are going to the uh, Israel you know the Lord shows me a lot of stuff I've seen a lot of things but uh, we're about ready to leave I know that I feel it even you know that, that photo is like a thermostat a tester for me you ever seen those basters you put in a turkey and it tells you what the temperature is in it? Well, that photo works the same way. When I go show it to people, I see how people react to it. You know? And it also tells me how everything that's written in that Bible, you know, people that, man. Like I said, I've showed that photo a lot to a lot of people.
other people. And uh, there was a time that would have been on the news. You know what I mean? People would have been studying it to, to see the authentic, to see if it was real, you know, or if it was something man made, or, you know what I mean? But they don't even want to look at it. The reason why is because they know it's not man made, it's very real. Um, we're getting ready to go. I'm ready. I know a lot of you guys are probably ready too. Because you got to figure, you know, what I'm feeling and seeing, I'm sure many of you are feeling and seeing it. Same as me. Um, sure when you talk to people and meet people you get the same reactions I get dead you know people don't care they don't want to they're gonna care after we leave they're gonna care you know but they're not gonna be caring like we knew you know what I mean that this is about our Lord Jesus Christ when they started attacking him nobody really cared at all you know and uh, everybody's gonna answer for it you know, they're going to answer for it. This is a time where people should have been standing up, being bold as we ought to be, like it says, you know. And uh, I was. I spoke up, and I've been speaking up. And even when they are coming at me with money offers and all that stuff, I let them know right away, man, you ain't got enough money. You ain't got enough money. You know, we need it to survive, you know, sure enough. I've had people say, well, you you're, you got a truck, you got a license, you know, so you're under contract too, you know, you're doing, you're following the devil of worldly ways. I'm like, man, listen, I didn't create this world. And uh, Jesus even said, give to Pilate what belongs to Pilate. And uh, I paid my taxes and everything, I bought all this. But it's, today, it's even worse Today, people are figuring out ways of hustling, cheating, lying. Um, it's worse than it was 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, the devil was around. He's been around for all this, all this time. And people made choices whether they wanted to be an outlaw or a, a sheriff, you know. And today, you got outlaws that are sheriffs. You know, it's just totally wicked today. You know, people have lit in stuff that is just totally wicked. Not only that, you got people that uh, they may have gotten in trouble and you've judged them their entire life. Even though they've turned their life around, they've repented from their sins. But you find no forgiveness for them. You know what I mean? I mean, everything's like twisted. It's not according to the word of God, the way it says to be. You know, and... Uh, I guess I've been prophesizing all this, this to come, this to be over. And I believe that's why that angel with the trumpet above my head, because these are warnings. And the things that I'm saying, I'm feeling I'm led to say, say them by the Spirit. And uh, I don't say nothing out of my own will. I say it from what I'm led to say it from the Spirit. You know, because I'm not looking... For what am I going to gain out of it? You know, the only thing I can gain out of it is letting those that have been faithful through all this time, letting them know, you know, it's time to go home. We're getting ready to go home, you know. That we've done, we, those that were called, you did what you were supposed to do. And you're still doing it, you know, just like I keep showing that photo. And I still keep sharing. I'll probably be doing it till the day we leave. You know, but uh, I'm just here to let people know we're getting ready to go. This is the time. That's the reason why that photo's there. It's not for me to get a popularity contest. You know, <laughs> uh, it would have been nice if I could have gotten a decent job. You know, where uh, it wasn't demonic. Yeah, I know sixty thousand a year sounds nice and all that, but there's too much demonic stuff all around. All that. You know, I didn't want nothing. Plus, I was letting them know, you know, that I know all about them, everything they're doing. You guys seen it on their halftime shows. There's, you know, in the Super Bowls, all that stuff. I let them know, man, there's nothing here, nothing. It's evil, demonic, perverted. You guys let it in. You know, nobody stood up. You know, you had large places. You could have spoke up. We could have, you know, but...
everything's written. It is what it is. That's what that photo is. It's to tell you, you know, you've done your jobs. We're getting ready to go home. And uh, the Lord also knows those that have been deceiving out there, too. And uh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. But one thing you got to remember, you got people out there. It's not so much the person that you're looking at. A lot of these people got demons in them, hosting them like a puppet. You know, I got it in my own family even. You know, where my brother got in touch with me out of nowhere. I hadn't heard from him in probably 10, 12 years. And then voila, there he is, wanting to talk. You know, be, act like we're brothers. But he said he didn't want to hear nothing about Jesus. And I told my son all about Jesus. Everything in my life is about Jesus. I don't think I can talk too much without talking about him. You know, because that's, he's all about me in my life. You know, that's the way it is. When you walk away from the world, you pick up your cross to follow him. And then you don't you know, how do you talk to somebody and not talk about them, you know? That's why I was saying, you know, when everybody's heading in that same direction, in that river, it was a river that I seen in my vision, and they were all throwing rocks at me, and uh, I started to throw some rocks back, but they didn't even make it halfway. They fell into the water, and I wasn't supposed to do that. But that's when I ended up taking down another part of the river, and then I could see them from a distance being lifted into the mountain. And that's why I woke up and I immediately made that uh, film that morning. Saying if, you, if you're doing what everybody else is doing, going down that same river, come out of it now. Come out now. You know, especially if you feel in your heart you're doing something that don't feel right. Um, that pe you're, you're getting people to get into something that you know is wrong. You shouldn't do it. You know. This is where, you know, we got the wolves, the goats, and the sheep are being separated. You know, so consider that, you know. We're getting ready to leave. I've been sleeping in this truck for about five months, and I'm tired. I, I don't like it. It's very uncomfortable. But uh, I would much rather do this than be in what's... This is over. This is over. I know everybody's heard a lot of... Uh, rapture stories and all that stuff the last five, six years. They've heard a lot of stuff. But nobody's seen an angel like this blowing a trumpet above their head. Nobody. Nobody's seen that. Not one person. Nobody's seen anything like this on any channel. I haven't. You know, I'd love to see it. If anybody knows something, please tell me so I can look at it too. You know, <clears throat> but uh, that's a message telling you we're getting ready to go home. It's over. You know, I shared my visions the last eight weeks about what's at hand. My hand turned transparent. The vine coming out of that lake, um, it was, uh, the vine was uh, huge and it was water dripping off of it. And all the branches that ha that were attached to it had fruit hanging on the edges of it, full of color. I mean, and then there was water dripping off of everything, man. I mean, yeah, you know, I could have taken a shower underneath all of it. So much water dripping everywhere. And then I looked at the lake where the vine went into the ground and sucked water out of it. The lake was dry, empty. In other words, you know, for me, I'm going to take that as... There's no more water there, and with my rapture, with the hand, saying it's at hand, we're getting ready to leave, and I believe this is now. We're getting ready to go, you know. Are you ready? I know I am. Brother Daryl exposed another guy. Boy, when I seen that, the guy even said he thought he was a fallen angel. Wow. Um, his name's... Uh, he's got some truth to it, but he's got a lot of stuff that kind of twists the word of God. 
you know, like the pictures on the money. But at the same time, I won't watch nothing else on the show again. Um, I always watched the Grotex, and then that guy's name was, uh, man. Um, can't think of it now. It's, uh, I can't even think of it. Where, oh, where? There was that, the GROXT1, but I always like to watch that. And, uh, I can't think of his name now. Um, Kenneth. I can't think of it now. But, he's always wearing that bandana and he's talking about how the devil, you know, a lot of the sex stuff and, um, I didn't see all his earlier videos. I just caught a few of the later ones. Like I said, I've only been on here for about two months. And then when uh, Brother Dale showed some of his earlier clips, the things that he said, I mean, he you know, he said it directly out of his mouth. How do you dispute that? You know? My, my mom told me she seen angels standing over my crib when she brought me home. And uh, these were angels. I've seen angels, too, recently, and I've also seen demons. I can tell the two apart. I know which are which. And uh, anything that comes out of their mouth, man, if it doesn't have the word of God in it, that comes out of this Holy Bible, and it comes, and they speak of anything else, I can generally, I can tell right away. And, uh, and that one guy, a lot of the stuff he'd be speaking about, I was like, you know, it didn't reflect to anything I've ever even considered before because of, you know, what it didn't sound right coming out of the Bible. Uh, I can't think of it. Jonathan Cleck or something like that. Jonathan Cleck. But uh, I won't watch that show no more. You know? Definitely not right. You know? Because when it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, man, you know, his written word, everything he says in there, you know, you got to follow what's there. You know, not all things like were revealed, like I didn't know reading from that Holy Bible. I knew there was people possessed with demons, but I had no idea that it was and on this level so many of them. And the reason why we got so many of them now is because they're coming out of the out of hell, out of the pits of hell right now. And the Lord's letting them out. And the Holy Spirit's holding them back. But what they're doing is they're hosting all the people that are dead in Christ. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, Jesus Christ ain't in you, then they're hosting people. And let me tell you, they're very, very slick. And they tickle people's ears. Um, tell people what they want to hear. They'll play that soft music and have that sweet-sounding voice, you know. But uh, the devil, the Lord said that they're going to be very, very tricky, very tricky, you know. So, I mean, if he says that they're going to be very tricky, that should tell you to be very careful. And uh, I liked how it, uh, Brother Daryl exposed that, Jonathan Cleck, that's his name. I liked how... Uh, Brother Daryl exposed that because it's true. Every bit of it. Every, when I seen that film and what he said, there was no reservations. I had no doubt about it. You know, and then there's others out there too that spoke too that I didn't like what they said. You know, I've heard people saying it and my own brother saying it. They'd sit there and say, they would suggest something to you and then with the same breath, they would say, just saying, just saying. You know, I've heard that many times come out of demonic people. They would say, just saying. You got to listen to it. That's mimicking. They can't help it. They mimic one another because it sounds good, goes over good. And they're used to telling people what they want to hear. You know, but when you hear somebody talking like that and you hear it a lot, which I have, I've heard a lot of people doing it. Just saying. You know. 
somebody was trying to tell me this, Kurt Jurgens, the uh, code searcher, that he's unreputable and all that stuff. Well, uh, let me tell you something. I've only heard him speaking probably about four or five times, but the things that he spoke about and the time frame that he's talking about, I've got fives all around me, man. I'm my mother's fifth child. I was born May 23rd. May's the fifth month. Two plus three is five. I'm 55. He's saying that uh, May, between May 5th and 15th, is the Passover. And it makes perfect sense to me. Between the 5th and the 15th, nobody can know the day or the hour. There's a lot of time in between that 5th and 15th. Then, even still, the calendars could be off a little bit, give or take. And we could go even before that. I don't know. But I know it's at hand. My vision told me that. I've already had some things happen, like me traveling. I had a vision about that. And that was after I had the vision about what's at hand. And uh, I, I traveled. You know, now that my sinuses were bothering me, just like I seen in the vision. And, uh, you know, every place I went across the nation, I kept saying, man, this is demonic. It's all the same. And then the guy looked at me and goes, so, so, you know, so I know it's at hand, okay? And you got to listen to people that are mimicking other people. When you hear people saying, just saying, they want to tell you something, then they'd say, just saying. They're mimicking. I've heard that. My own brother said it to me, you know? And I'm like, whoa, I just, I've heard other people saying that now. You sound just like the other people I heard. Because what you just said sounds just like other people. You know? Be careful. There's a lot of deception out there right now, man. You know? I, I just talk straight up like uh, person to person. I ain't, got, I ain't trying to act like I'm no pastor. Or I'm no saint or anything. The only thing I'm telling you is I've got that picture with that angel. I do have visions. I have dreams. Okay? You can see the clock with the horse, the bathtub. I think this message is for a lot of those people that were starting to lose hope. Because there's been a lot of false things. People saying it's at hand, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <clears throat> Let me tell you, I got that picture in 2014. I didn't have no visions or no raptures or nothing. Not until, uh, I'm going to say probably eight, nine weeks ago, eight weeks ago, you know couple months that's it I've had a lot of demonic stuff demons attacking me every night perverted stinking thinking kind of stuff you know I don't really like to share those dreams but I'm telling you about them you know I took no pleasure in them um, I'd wake up from them and then uh, try to stay awake for a little bit go back to sleep and then bam it was like I was right back in them or another episode of something else stinking thinking stuff you know sexual dreams and uh, when I got divorced from my wife, I don't even think about sex anymore. I don't, you know, I don't think about it. So I don't have the desire for it. I don't, you know, you got to, it's like if you feed your spirit, your spirit's going to, it's going to grow. That's why Jesus said, you got to eat of me, my flesh and my blood. And, and it's his spirit that we feed on. And that makes our spirit you know, it takes away those desires, man. I'm telling you. It's like quitting smoking, quitting drinking, quitting everything in this worldly way. Man, if you're really, truly into Christ, following Christ, I promise you, you can overcome any of these things. Any of them. I've done it. You know, and uh, I'm not telling you nothing I don't believe that you can't do. Because if you're truly following Him, I guarantee you, you can overcome it. You know, I did it. I don't even desire to be with another woman. And I don't even look at them. I don't stare at them. You know, because if you do, then what are you dwelling on? Why? That's the devil. That's a demon in you. You know, and, and um, sex, it's not going to be happening in the kingdom. We're going to be brothers and sisters, and we're going to have one father in our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we ain't going to have those desires. We won't have them. We'll be like children again. I had those feelings. I felt them in my vision. Where we're going to feel like kids again. And when we were kids, we didn't think of that stuff. You know, we didn't. 
I didn't anyhow, and didn't come on me until I was probably, I'm going to say maybe seventh, eighth grade, somewhere around there. You know, but actually, I, when I went up there, I felt like I was younger than that. I felt like I was at seven or eight years old, you know, but I had my knowledge, but I felt real good, very strong. Like I said, if your mind, if that's what you're thinking about is uh, worldliness, uh, sexual desires and stuff like that, then you're not thinking about Christ. You know, if you're thinking about our Lord Jesus Christ and what he did, and then the rapture that's at hand, um, cleansing yourself, getting all that, uh, coming out into the light, bring it into the light, because anything that's in the dark, stinking thinking, that's in the dark, okay? And that stuff will take root if you let it, or you could pull it, bring it out into the light, you know? And trust me, it works. I guarantee it works. Time's at hand. There's, you don't have time to waste. That's why I told you, if you're doing what other people are doing, that river that I've seen, everybody going in the same direction, I guarantee you we're getting ready to go, man. It's going to happen anytime. And that's why I'm telling you to come out of it now. Come out now while you still can, you know. Or you, some people are going to go through the great tribulations. And they're going to holler, Lord, Lord, let us in, you know. Because trust me, man, when it gets wickety-wickety, people, whatever you're thinking now, I guarantee you, you won't be thinking it. Whether it's worldliness, it's lustfulness. Man, when people are fleeing, fighting for their lives, you're not going to be thinking about sex. You know? Or when you can't find food because they, all these stores have been pillaged and they're not delivering to them anymore, you're not going to be thinking about sex. You're going to be thinking about where to get something to eat, you know, or where to find some shelter, or where can you get cleaned up, you know. I mean, I've been, what I've been doing these past five months here, two years living in my shop, bathing out of a sink, that's going to seem like paradise compared to what's coming. Even living in my truck like this in a parking lot, you know, underneath the lights, and I got free Wi-Fi here. I can load this up with free Wi-Fi, you know. I'm probably another week or so, I'm heading out into the mountains here. Why am I going into the mountains? Because I want, it's like a retreat. I'll get closer and closer with my Lord that way. I'll get away from this free Wi-Fi for a little while. You know, maybe I'll go up there and do a little retreat. And then I'll come back and find a place with free Wi-Fi and load them up. You know, we'll see what happens if we're still here. But I know it's at hand. We're getting ready to go. That's why I can't stress it enough, man. Stinking thinking, man. That's like pulling weeds. You know, these homosexuals, lesbians, and all that stuff. That's just, you know, that's icing on the cake. That's all that is. Because there's a lot more sin out there, man. I mean, even when I was married, my ex-wife, she was, um, she had her little thing going on. You know, but... I, I walked out and caught him, you know, out behind my work van. And uh, everything comes into the light sooner or later. And that's why I say, you know, if you got secrets now, it ain't, they ain't as secret as you think they are. I guarantee you the Lord knows about it. The holy angels know about it. They revealed to me once before. They'd let me know that uh, they knew about my um, stinking thinking. You know what I mean? They exposed it to me. They showed it to me. And I'm like, how in the world could they even know that? You know? And they used my landlord at my shop to show me. And uh, he was drinking. And I don't even think he remembered doing it. I told you, bodies can be hosted. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, then uh, these angels, they could jump in somebody to give you a message. It's just, are, are you paying attention? You know, and right now I'm seeing a lot of demonic demons in people, and they're not out to give you a message. You know, but a good angel will try to give you a message. You know, it's just whether or not you're receiving it or wanting to receive it. You know, but with that being said, God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit, and uh, I'd like to say. Uh, 
good work to Brother Daryl because uh, that was some good research where he pulled that out. You know, and when he said he wasn't given, uh, you know, reference to this Bible as much as he was trying to dig up pagan stuff, you know, and and then make it, you know, that's not good. That wasn't good at all, you know, and I didn't like some of that stuff that I did see, actually. You know, but he's right, you know, the guy's definitely uh, got the wrong spirit in him, that's for sure. Because if he had the uh, Holy Spirit working with him, he wouldn't have been saying some of the stuff he said. You know. But God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. And remember what I said. When people are all saying the same thing, or people are suggesting things to you, and if you hear them saying, just saying, remember this. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to everything that you hear from everybody. Because there's a lot of it around you. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit.